Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new series called Extremities on my channel. Today I'm here at Kayama. This series is an attempt to visit the extremities of our Opal network and each station in that section. The sections are determined by where services become infrequent. It is a challenge as my goal to get to each station by using means of the Opal card, ticketed trains or buses, and coaches. The other sections are Mossvale to Goulburn, Lithgow to Bathurst, Maitland to Scone, and Talara to Dungog. Today we start off relatively easy with the Kayama to Bomaderry section. Kayama is approximately 119 kilometers from Central Station. It can take anywhere from 129 minutes to 166 minutes to complete this rather scenic journey. The Kayama to Bomaderry section of the South Coast Line takes 27 minutes to complete by train. However, replacement bus services run to fill in the gaps. This bus service takes about 40 minutes. The active stations on this line are Kayama, Jeringong, Berry, and Bomaderry. Depending on the time of day and what day of the week it is, services generally run every hour, uh, but that kind of varies. It's also uh, interesting to note that it's only run by two car and deficits, as this is a is not electrified beyond uh, the boundary limits of Kayama. Arriving from Bombardieri, we have a two-car Endeavour. This will sit here for about uh, five minutes before it forms another uh, Bombardieri service, stopping Jerangong, Berry, and Bombardieri. Believe the lead carriage is off N10. The train is faster than driving on this section of the South Coast Line. There are plans to upgrade this section, including to build a crossing loop between Jeringong and Berry, and for a second platform to be constructed at Bomaderry in order to achieve a half hourly service in the peak. The South Coast Line reached what was then called North Kiama Station, now known as Bombo, in 1887. The New South Wales Government Railways intended for the line to progress all the way to Jervis Bay and perhaps even Eden. A major milestone was complete in 1881 when the 342 metre timber truss bridge over the Shoalhaven River was complete. Bobadere Station was opened on the 2nd of June 1891, which was assumed to be the temporary southern terminus. However, progress towards Jervis Bay stalled, and the bridge was converted to be used by road traffic. Surprisingly, this bridge is still in operation today. Well, here we are at Bombardieri Station, where the station signs are two metres off the ground and I can touch them. Sitting here on Platform 1, the only platform here currently at Bombardieri, is Endeavour Set N10. Bombardieri Station opened on the 2nd of June 1893. There are three sidings here used by Pacific National for grain, wheat and flour trains. Bombardier is the starting point and finishing point for many different freight trains. Unfortunately, the original station building here in Bombardier was destroyed in a fire in 1945 and was rebuilt the following year. However, Bombardier Station is heritage listed. Bombardieri has all your typical facilities, opal top-up machines and readers, original passenger information boards, a waiting room and toilets. The station is staffed.
Bombardieri is also very interesting as it was the final place where the electric staff signalling system was replaced on the Metropolitan Rail Network. Having been installed in 1908, it was not replaced until 2014 with automated signalling. As you can see by this indicator here, Bombardieri Station is located approximately 153 kilometres from Sydney Central Station. I'm now going to board Endeavour Set N10 and travel up the line to Gerringong. This section of the South Coast Line has had three stations that have since been closed and demolished. Amiga was just two kilometres north of the current Jeringong station. This photo shows the station a few months prior to closure in 1986. There was also a station at Tulajua in between Jeringong and Bering, which opened on the 2nd of June 1893 as Tulua, and but was renamed in 1897 as Tulajua. However, it closed on the 19th of October 1974 due to low patronage. The same uh, was for Omega Station. And between bon Berry and Bomaderi, there was also Jasper's Brush Station, which opened on the 2nd of June 1893 and closed on the 11th of December 1951. Unfortunately, there are no traces left of any of these stations. That was Endeavour Set N10 on a Kayama service. Train's next and final stop will be Kayama. As you can see, I am now at Jeringong Station. It is an interesting little station in between uh, Kayama and Berry. By this little sign down here, you can see that it is 128 kilometres from Sydney Central Platform Number 1. Jerengong Station has one faded line of yellow tactiles, orange seating and signage, typical information boards and uh, customer assistance button with the bus timetable that was scheduled in here. As you can see, the station is only staffed Monday to Friday from 5.35am to 9.35am, closed on public holidays and weekends. Jerengong has all your typical facilities, an opal reader, singular, a few seats here and there, seems four seats, Information boards, emergency help point, uh, security cameras, a clock, which is accurate, emergency help point, I already mentioned, uh, and a station uh, customer assistance button, which I might have to use. Due to the nature of some cancelled trains, I'm going to be safe and get on the 737 bus service to... Uh, Berry, so I can get down there and record it. But here's some information about Jeringong Station. Jeringong is the second station on this segment of the South Coast Line. It is located 128 kilometres from Central Station and is a single platform. Jeringong Station opened on the 2nd of June 1893 and was upgraded to be wheelchair accessible in 2012. 
On the 18th of August 1941, a lightning strike set fire to the original station building and it was unfortunately lost in the blaze. The station building that stands today was uh, the replacement built in 1942. I'm now waiting here by the bus stop for the next bus service to go one stop down the line back down to Berry found out that this is probably the most efficient and smartest thing to do in this situation when trains just get cancelled unexpectedly. It appears that uh, this building here uh, used to have some tracks. Let's have a little investigation while we wait for the bus. Jeringong and the surrounding regions were known for their dairy production and as a result of the line opening, the Jeringong Cooperative Dairy Society moved their operations alongside the Brow Line. Over time, freight importance decreased, and in 1991, the dairy co-op abandoned its siding in favour of road transport. The remains of said siding and platform can still be seen today just outside the station. Due to some issues with a freight train this afternoon, a few passenger services have been cancelled. Luckily, they've been replaced by bus services, so I can continue on my journey down to Berry, the final station I need to visit on this line. Berry Station is heritage listed and has been since the 2nd of April 1999. Berry Station, like every other station on this segment, was opened on the 2nd of June 1893. The one thing that catches my delight each time I traverse this line is the beautiful scenery that is seen from the outside the train window. town of Berry, and it's quite a nice looking station. Let's take a tour. Information boards, level access so it is accessible. Berry was the largest town on this section of the alignment at the time and freight grew quite dramatically with quite the freight yard. However today only a single small siding on the up and a small down siding remain. Many of the buildings are original to 1893 are still intact today which makes the station quite incredible. Berry station is beautifully well kept and it was a pleasure staying here taking in the peaceful atmosphere. Here we have some track working vehicles. BX um, uh, BX59 and TJ91. Very station, quite beautiful. Does have a level crossing at the end there for the road. And it appears that there's a bit of old platform here that is no longer in use with Berry Signal 4 sitting there. I believe the next service to Bomaderry is still operating. However, the next service to Kayama has been cancelled and the next service to uh, the service after that to Bomaderry has been cancelled. So I did talk with someone and they said that a bus service is being organised. So, yes, I hope I don't get stuck here for two hours waiting for the next train if that bus service doesn't get organised. Shortly arriving into the only platform here at Berry, we'll have a Bomaderry service. It is a two-car inset and N10. 
uh, due to a person being injured at, by a train at Martin Place earlier. Uh, this train is running approximately 22 minutes late and uh, the returning service and the next service have already been cancelled. So yeah, they are being replaced by a bus which will come about 10 minutes after the regularly scheduled train. In 10 will stop next and finally at Bombardieri before returning uh, to Kayama after sitting there for about an hour or two I think. Eventually the replacement bus did show up and I was back up to Kayama. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have an excellent day. Well, I made it back to Kayama in time, just barely, for the uh, 16... 1655 service to Central. It's an 8 carriage Oscar. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Subscribe to my friend's channel, and in particular, Sydney Transport Films, who edited this production. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.